Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simulation sweep from your Lumerico simulation file. Um, so this is very useful if you are trying to perform a, a parameter search for your design. Uh, in this example file here, we'll be doing it on a simple waveguide. Um, the idea here is we will uh, be looking to have the sweep adjust the waveguide sizes. Um, and then we'll have it return the results that we're interested in. So uh, we have on the left here set up in the object tree is the waveguide object. We use a simple rectangle. Um, and the dimension we're interested in here is the Y span. So this will directly correlate with a waveguide width. We then also set up a FDTD region here. Um, and then we added some ports. So uh, these ports are a neat little feature that kind of replaces the sources and monitors that uh, most other uh, simulation setups might be using. Um, and it makes things very more efficient because the ports kind of act both as a source and a monitor. Um, so if you were to do the same thing here, you would have to add two sources, um, one shooting forward, one shooting backwards, and then you have to put monitors behind them. Um, the ports kind of simplify the whole thing. Um, so next what we'll do here is we'll be sweeping a single wavelength and we'll be also sweeping for the waveguide changes. So what you have to do here is you can navigate to your optimization and sweeps tab. You can click uh, up here this little top left button here for a sweep and it'll create a sweep. You can right click this object then, click edit, and you'll see a window pop up. In this window, um, you can define parameters. So for us, we'll look to uh, create a parameter. We'll name it waveguide width because that's what we will be adjusting. And then here in the select parameters part, we click it and then it'll bring out a tree hierarchy just like the one in the objects tree. We'll wanna select our object, which is the waveguide. And then in the waveguide, we're looking for Y span. The next thing to do is you wanna change the type. Um, so for us, it'll be length. Uh, this is quite important because if you get the units wrong, um, it could be super large. It, it'll be in meters, for example, for the length, um, and you'll probably get a very, very big simulation that takes forever. Um, so from here, we'll have it sweep from, for example, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 microns. And let's say we'll do it for a five number of points for demonstration's sake. Um, and then what you'll want to do next is you'll want to ask the sweep to report the results you're interested in. So here we'll be looking for, let's say, transmission. And then we'll select the parameters in the same way. This time we'll navigate to the FDTD object. Um, and we'll want to select the ports. So this might be deceptive. You might want to click into results. Um, but this is actually the results of the FDTD region itself. It's not the actual monitor. So you want to select the ports. And then the ports, we're interested in port 2, which is the right side, output 1. And we'll want the transmission there. And with that, you're good to go. So you can just run the sleep by right clicking running or clicking this button up here. Um, I have a sleep already ran with the same setup here. I can show you. So we have guy with 0 0.1 to 0 0.5, uh, five number of points. Um, and then what you can do once the sleep is complete is there'll be a visualize button and you can visualize the results you've set. And this will pop up the visualization. Um, so for this simulation, it's a nonsensical solution. It is a 2D. The monitors aren't set up very well, but we're just kind of demonstrating how things work. So what I can do in this uh, results panel now is first you can go down to the very bottom and have your parameters, and you can choose uh, which one to plot on the x-axis. Because we only have one here, we'll plot the waveguide width automatically already. You can then also adjust the units, so you can sit, set it to uh, microns makes it visually easier to read. Um, you can then uh, also do the same thing to manip manipulate the results of the y-axis. So one manipulation could be you only want to look at the imaginary results, or if you want to look at the absolute value, or the absolute value squared, um, et cetera, et cetera. The final thing you can do is um, you can also adjust uh, the axis and title names. So here we can enter a title, um, and then you'll want to click show title here, and the title will pop up. Um, you can create a legend if you want to. The legend correlates to this button down here for each individual result. 
So if I type uh, my legend, um, that's what this blue line will be called right there. You can also um, set the graph to log if you wish to look at the results that way. Um, and you can also adjust the axis limits or you can rename uh, the labeling for better viewing. So here I can label the Y side as transmission and it'll show up as transmission. And that is pretty much it. Um, and that'll bring us to the end of this video. Thanks.